All right, Sergeant D, this is your second time here in Iraq. Sergeant D uh, was not able to ETS. He had to put off his ETS so he, he could be redeployed because stop loss brought him back. This is the second time in Iraq. We're sitting here in the in what's called the TOC, the Tactical Operations Center, watching the Pentagon Channel. A bunch of senators and a bunch of big wig generals are over there talking about Iraq. What do you think they know? I think they don't. Everything they're talking about is setting up timelines and you can't set up timelines. For everything that we're doing here, the people are going to die. People are dying right now in Boston where we've been at for 12 years now. Yeah. It's possible for five years. It's, just, it's going to happen. The only thing is that we're going to be here for time. They can't set up a timeline. The senators are all they're worried about is getting reelected. That's all you keep hearing. It's why the why we're here, the why we're here now. The why we came doesn't matter. What we're going to do while we're here. Yeah. So, did you watch the part where they were talking about rec recruiting earlier? Yeah. What did you think of that? Do you think they're full of shit in that too? Yeah. Recruiting, the, the recruiting is down, their, their retention is down. Air Force made, made it because they dropped their, their, their numbers. So they made the quota for, 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 real, for actual recruiting because they dropped their quota when they were supposed to be. That's the reason why the Army hasn't, hasn't met theirs because they haven't dropped it. You know, it ain't a matter of they, they don't believe in the army or in the military, it's just that there's too much politics involved in that. That's the reason why I'm getting out You sure you're not going to follow the general's advice and stick your hand back up? <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, anything you do else you'd want to tell people about this place now that you've been here twice? It's a major improvement. Major improvement in what way? In the, in the three years of working down, it's been right about two years. The people, you know, the society out there, everything. It's, you can tell that it's, there are buildings being built, coming up, there's more construction. The people are happier, kids are going to school again. You know, so they are getting settled down. Now, granted, the insurgents are here, but that's going to happen. Do you go out much on the uh, off fob very much? Have you been shot at? Not yet. You're lucky. Actually, not half. When we first got here, like I got shot at. What happened? One of the convoys there was an IED that blew up and then a small large fire, but that was like behind me. Yeah. The convoy. Other than that, nothing. Did it make a pretty good noise though? Oh yeah. It, it's pretty loud. Yeah. Anybody hurt? No. That's good. Okay. Thanks a lot, Sergeant D. How do you say your last name? Dugarte. Dugarte. All right. Shit tester. Oh, you also have a tough name to pronounce. <laughs> Where are you from? from? West Virginia, sir. Oh, man. So, how close cousin-wise you, can you marry in West Virginia? I don't know. I was imported from Pennsylvania, so... Okay, so they yeah. kicked you out of Pennsylvania? Pretty much. Okay. So, um, so, you're from West Virginia. What part of West Virginia? North Central, about an hour south of Morgantown. Okay. And uh, wife is... Are you married? Oh, you're not married? No. Okay. Do you play banjo? No, I play guitar. Oh, okay. Uh, anything you'd want to tell people about your experiences over here? Have you been on many missions? Uh, well, I went out to Hope for a while. So How was that? It's pretty interesting. Um, a lot smaller than it is here. And uh, solder's really trashy and traffic's really bad. And, uh, so tell people at home what Solder City is. Sauter is basically the Bronx of Baghdad. How many people you think live there? Or do you know? Do you know um, how many people live there? Someone told me it was a little over 100,000 in the general area. But nobody, I heard it was over a million people. Nobody really knows. Yeah, it's hard to tell. There's so many people packed in there. Yeah. And they're all poor and they're all pissed off. Yeah. And it's covered with trash. Yeah. Does it, it's uh, kind of smelly. Sewage problems. Yeah. Yeah, we got it pretty good back home compared to these people, I think. Very true. Yeah. So, um, you been shot at? Uh, a couple times. A couple yeah. times. What did you think of it? Did it piss you off? Uh, it wasn't really me they were shooting at. It was a vehicle in front of us. I saw a couple of bullets bounce off the security vehicle in front of us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, we're in an FLA that you can't even get your M16 out of. If we had a pistol, maybe we could, like, return fire. You can't even, like turn your body to get your weapon to point out the window of the vehicle or something. Yeah. So, um, what's the worst thing you've seen here? Uh, 
Uh, one night we had nine kids up in Oak that came in, got hit with grenades. Um, one girl, a 13-year-old girl I worked on, had shrapnel in her lungs and in her brain. She ended up dying. It was pretty weird. And, uh, Terrible. There's a two-year-old boy, too. Uh, you know, Anything ever push you to tears? Oh, no, not yet. You know. One of those things. Yeah. You, you call your folks a lot and let them know you're okay? Yeah. My mom goes insane if I don't call like every day. Every day? Yeah. yeah. She's like that. Like, so I call Is like, she watching the news too much? Yeah. You think a lot of people at home are? Yeah, probably. And yeah, my wife does that. It's, it, it plays terrible havoc on them because they have no clue what's going on, you know, day to day. And, right. And so the, the perspective is really distorted. Yeah, it's like we're in, what, southeastern Baghdad? Yes, yeah, on the edge of the city. A bomb explodes anywhere in this city of about 3 million people. It's just a bomb exploded in Baghdad, killed 38 people or whatever. It doesn't say where in Baghdad. So every little thing that happens in Baghdad, a bomb freaks out. Yeah, it's, it's hard to give people a perspective. The east side of the Tigris, west side of the Tigris, yeah. Sadr City, New Baghdad, Ramadi, all these different neighborhoods, they're kind of hard for people to understand. So, anything else you want to say before I cut it off? The Mahdi militia is insane. One day they're on our side, the next day they're setting up IEDs to try to kill us. They're insane. You know, they, what what faith they follow? They're, they're uh, the Shiites. Yeah. So. And, uh, so one day we have to be nice to them because they're on our side. The next day we uh, are looking for them because they blew up a truck that we had. Yeah, I've seen a lot of affiliated people with the Medi Army, and um, there's several pronunciations, Mahdi Army, Medi Army. But uh, in the jail I go and worked in, there's lots of criminals, people under arrest, suspicious people uh, associated with the Medi Army and, and other sorts of Shiite organizations related to the Medi Army. And uh, it's it's very suspicious. All I can do is tell the S2 about it. And that's what I did. Whether they do anything with it or not is another thing. But that they're the majority of people. But they're of people in this, you know, the Shiites. That is, is the majority of people in the country. But you can't really say that they're out to do us any favors either. We had actually had to take care of two of them. They were setting up an ID at one of our corners that we always turn. And they couldn't see because it was late at night. And one asked for light, and the other one only had a lighter. And when he went in, he blew this guy's head completely off. This guy lost his hand. So they showed up, um, and oh, one of them just had no head. So there's nothing we can do for him. And the other why'd, one, why'd they bring him to Hope? I mean, I know the the name says it all, Hope, but uh, I think that guy was beyond Hope. I don't know. This is what they do. Yeah. All right. Thanks a lot.